Me and Tesco have created a winning weeknight dinner to get you and your family back to school ready. This is my mighty meatball bake. We're talking juicy meatballs, baked in a sweet tomato sauce with pesto and parmesan. What's not to love? Mm. See how delicate the meatballs are. For me, that is what clever midweek cooking for the family is all about. Using a mix of lean minced beef and blended lentils, which is better for the planet, better for your pocket, and it's also good for you. So I am gonna use a food processor. You don't have to, but I find you get a better result. First up, we're gonna use some lovely lean minced beef, 250 grams, and then a tin of lentils, a great source of protein, full of fiber, and we're gonna go 50-50. So that's a really clever way of taking the meat down, but also getting the protein and the nutrition in there there, and it's really good value as well. So we're gonna go in with the lentils, drained. I'm gonna season with quite a bit of black pepper. I want a nice little hum of heat there. A seasoning of salt. If you had herbs around, you can put it in, right? It's not in the recipe, but you can. We're gonna use bread, about 75 grams or two slices of nice, ideally wholemeal bread goes in. That is gonna give you a nice texture, a nice lightness, and it's gonna bind it really beautifully. And we're gonna add a little bit of pesto, just a little teaspoon to give these meatballs a little bit of a vibe. Now, if you wanted to swap the pesto out for different things, different spices, you know, you can absolutely do that. So we're gonna waz it up about 20 seconds. And then we're gonna pulse in our mince meat. Look at that, brilliant. Super simple preparation, really fast. And look, if I didn't have a food processor, what I would do is just get my hands in a bowl and really kind of mash up those lentils and then kind of mix in the mincemeat. Absolutely no trouble at all. So look, before we shape these, I'm gonna start blistering some pepper. I'm gonna put my thumb where the kind of stalk is and just press it in, because what I don't want to do is waste any and just tear it up into the pan dry. We're toasting and charring, and that's gonna give a little element of smokiness, which I really, really like. Imagine that with sweet tomato sauce. Let's divide up some balls. Some greaseproof paper down, whack it on there. Now, what I've done with the minced beef, you can also do with minced pork or any blends of mince, so you can react to your budget and you